Well, good morning, everybody. Well, morning. Depends what time of the day you're watching it, I suppose. Did anybody spot the deliberate mistake in the van? Remember that Max uh, vent light that I put in? We foolishly covered it up completely. Idiots! It's in here somewhere. <laughs> what an idiot. Completely not really. Good job I remembered. Now other people I've seen. When Adventurous Mandy has one of these and that comes right out to there but always is just just Flimsy. there and, it, and it, see how easy it is to open. And if it comes open while we're driving. It rattles. Right, leave it <laughs> like that for now. <laughs> uh, we're on our way, fast trip away in Foxy the van in Stewart. Up to now, fingers crossed, he's doing all right. Apart from the first 100 yards where the kitchen unit fell over completely and crushed everything. And I'm not 100% sure that the um, solar panels are working. Uh, didn't seem to be charging. But it wasn't 100%, so I don't know. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. And as you can see, it's traffic jams all the way. Just starting to move again now. We've been going for almost two hours and we're only at, but we haven't even got on the M62 yet, so it's going to be another three hours before we get to Shrewsbury. So head down, let's get on with it. minutes queue apparently. We've had five minutes, we've had ten minutes, we've had eight minutes and now it's in 16 minutes queue. 50 miles an hour it says. I would love to. I'd love it if we could do 50 miles an hour. Yeah. Not the most interesting shot in the world I'm guessing. So we sat now which is the iPhone 12 Pro Max big thing whichever one it is. It's decided it's too hot and now I don't know which way I'm going. So we've got an ice pack and I'm going to put it on the ice pack when it's safe to do so. Just one of them days isn't it? Yeah, nightmare. Put it underneath it there on top. Let's see if that works. So we must be just going into Wales. And this is what the Pontesil viaduct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is what the Pontesil viaduct goes over the River Dee. And on our way home from the Van Life Festival, we're going to go and find it because I went over it when I was a kid on a canal boat, and it's really scary. So I'm looking forward to that. Well, we got to the Van Life Festival about I don't know two hours longer than it should have been. Six hours, I think it took us all together. But we got in there in the end after getting in the wrong queue. Well, we made our way into a spot which Steve and Mandy had miraculously saved for us. Somehow I don't know how they managed that. It was a great little showground this here in Shrewsbury. Well, when I say a little, I mean absolutely ginormous. There must have been thousands of camper vans and motorhomes and there were some caravans there as well. Uh, you can just see how big it is. Certainly wore my knees out walking around. Anyway, just enjoy the little flyby. Van Life, Shrewsbury, with Eddie and Steve and Mandy from the 
Hugo van. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a camping cup. It's a camping cup of gas. And he's Foxy the van on his fast trip away. <laughs> Brenda's pulling the fridge around. It's uh, it's hundred percent not finished, but we got the Ridge Monkey out or whatever it's called, and we've got some spam or whatever it is. Let's see how it's going. Oh, it's all felt a bit. <laughs> Overflow situation going on. Was a cracking atmosphere. Everybody was very friendly and just willing to help out. Red legs. <laughs> I was trying to watch the FA Cup final, but the signal was just absolutely crap, even though it said three bars and 5G. I can't see why that isn't. What are you doing, guys? I'm trying to release stupid, <laughs> stupid wristbands off. Can I just tell you at Van Life, we hate wristbands. <laughs> well, I do anyway. They get in the way when you're trying to wipe your bum and you just, <laughs> just in the way. What? Uh... Trying to wipe your bum. <laughs> I think they're pretty. So pretty. They just, they just got tighter and tighter and I just fucking hate them. It's the rebel in me. Scissors. <laughs> no idea if that's important. <laughs> I swear to God, I have no idea. Did you do it the right way? Mick. No, I'm stupid. No, I, I can see my face in this. Is that what I'm supposed to see? <laughs> what you do, Mick? Well, it's a mixture of uh, panacalty, and if you don't know what panacalty is, it's the same as uh, I don't know, scouse, hot pot, whatever. Blobby. I don't know. Eh? Blobby. Blobby. Blobby yeah. Blobby, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> so it started off as potatoes, onions. Uh, what did? You, where else did you put it? We've put. It's got corned beef, onions, oh, yeah. carrots, potato, spinach. Mm -hmm. We've got spinach. Not onion. traditional. We put more veg in than norm. And now it's been added a tin of steak, some more chopped onions, fried onions and uh, some tin potatoes sliced and it'll be right delicious just let that simmer away a bit and that'll be it eddie thinks it smells like dog food don't you eh do you think it smells like dog food yeah are you hungry ed Hey, oh, what are you having, Mr. Bell? I'm a stir fry from Aldi, which we put in the yeah. slow cooker for a couple of hours. When you say away, I put in the slow cooker. Man did the noodles. <laughs> I can't put that in now, can I? I know, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> can we do that again? <laughs>
quite a gentle cup of tea the next morning just to recuperate a little bit while the clouds cleared. It didn't take long for the clouds to clear though and the sun to start shining again and Brenda got the breakfast on the go. Mm -hmm. So what's for breakfast today Brenda? We're going to have crumpets with marmite. Well, butter first and then marmite. Mm. It's the first time I've done this so... In the ridge monkey. Crumpets in the ridge monkey. We'll cut them up and see if it works. Can I have an egg on mine? You can do that, yep. Excellent. And where's Mandy? What's Mandy up to? Cup tea. <laughs> I can bake and bake and bake and bake. You can bake and bake. Mm -hmm. And uh, Eddie looks quite interesting. Mm. He's helping. Stephen's back. Oh, is that the t shirt that had the big mucky mark on that you thought was part of the t shirt? Yeah, yeah, it was chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> And here we have Steve and Mandy from Hugo Vans. Fantastic new awning which they have made themselves. Well, Mandy has. I'm guessing. Steve's done a very good job of putting it up. And these are our fantastic toilets, which you've kept is uh, empty for the last few days. But again, lots of rubbish. Maybe it's a drop down leg or something. Mm. Well, we found a fox. So I was trying to put it right. Foxy van. And, uh, Looks really good. You enjoying it? It's good, really good. Get some ideas. Don't be changing it too much. <laughs> oh, yeah. We had a lovely chill down Sunday afternoon, just relaxing in the sun, having a couple of beers and listening to the lovely acoustic music. Is it here? Stuart plays with these zips on there. Is it at all? Yeah. <laughs> Get me belly in, I forgot to say. <laughs> Some foxes are going to be chubby. As the original. Put it down. I can't breathe in anymore, man. <laughs> It was very warm, but the donkeys had the right idea keeping out of the sunshine in the shade. Now we know our lovely neighbour Malcolm loves a bucket hat. I think he could have really rocked this pineapple one. What do you think? I managed to catch the highlights of the Formula One for a change. Eddie does love a yogurt pot. That, right, it's all done, I'll go like that. Fold, fold, that handle, 
Engineer. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> That'll be the air spray under my arms, but what an absolute idiot. Yeah. And take two. That's better. All nice and clean for the day now. <laughs> right, that's just about it for the weekend. So it's goodbye from me. Goodbye from Brenda, Mandy and Steve from the Yugo Vans. Look at his brilliant t-shirt. <laughs> I haven't got one. I wasn't doing Put your tits away, man. <laughs> bye bye now. Bye. It really was a great weekend. Well, three nights we had there. Great music, great atmosphere, great weather, great sunshine, great company. And thanks very, very much to Steve and Mandy, who gifted us the tickets to come away on this trip. Thank you very much. Love yous.